In this video, we're going to explore some more of the Siri voice command features that are available on the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 5. In this part of the video, we're going to look at uh, punctuation in Siri. So, if you want to add question marks and exclamation points and commas and things like that, it's completely doable, so let's give it a try. In this case, we're going to use the message command. Message Joe Blow. What do you want to say to Joe Blow? Hi Joe, comma. Do you want to go mountain biking today? Question mark. The weather looks really fine. Exclamation point. I updated your message. Ready to send it? To continue, you can send. Cancel, review, or change it. Send. Okay, I'll send your message. Sometimes when you're out with your iPhone and you want to take a picture, and you might be wearing gloves, uh, it's very hard to operate your iPhone when you're using your gloves. Now I've come up with a way to take a picture while wearing your gloves, and it's very simple. So we start with the, uh, the locked screen, and we simply hold down the center button here and we use a voice command. Take a picture. Okay, we're in picture taking mode now. Now if I swing the camera like this and use my thumb on the center button here or the plus volume switch, that works as a shutter button. So, holding that, that one like that. And I've got my picture. Simple. No problem with gloves. Now you might be wondering why I'm orienting the camera sideways in landscape mode and why I'm using my thumb to take the picture. Why not swing the camera and have it like a normal camera where you're hitting the center button with this? Well the only reason is is that the picture will show upside down on some computer systems. It's going to interpret this as an upside down picture. So if you want the picture to look right side up, then take it like this. I strongly recommend that you always use landscape mode because in portrait mode like this you're going to get a much smaller photograph. This will fill up the whole screen area so this is a better orientation for taking pictures. iPhone 4S and iPhone 5 has a very interesting feature. It taps into an online computational knowledge engine called Wolfram Alpha to answer general questions about things. I've got a few examples here and we'll just try them out. How many calories in a bagel? Let me check that. This might answer your question. What is an 18% tip on $86.74 for four people? Here's what I found. Who's buried in Grant's tomb? I found this. How long do dogs live? Let me think about that. Okay, here you go. What is the gossamer condor? Let me think. Here's what I found. What's the square root of 128? Checking on that. Okay, here you go. So there's a few examples of the iPhone's capability of using the online computational knowledge engine called Wolfram Alpha to answer very general questions. Now it doesn't always work but it works a lot of the time and it's very smart that way. So that's how you do it.